Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We have now received information that Sean O'Malley versus Piotr Jan is confirmed for UFC 280, along with a very stacked card in its own right in uh, Abu Dhabi. Um, I think I'm, I'd say I misreported a little bit yesterday that um, that so TJ Dillashaw and uh, Aljamain Sterling is being moved to 280 as uh, Hamzat Shemaev and Nate Diaz is going to be main event 279 in uh, Madison Square Garden. I believe that's the, oh no, I think it might be Vegas. I don't know for 279, but 280 is going to be in Abu Dhabi. Uh, main event will be Makashev versus Oliveira. Uh, the co-main event will probably be Sterling and Dillashaw, and then the third fight down will probably be Sugar Sean versus Jan. It could be the opener. He said he wanted to do openers or the main event, but we'll see about that. Um, so for this fight, and I think Sean Brady and Bilal Muhammad are in 280. So this is a very good card so far. Um, hopefully we get no issues with it. But yeah, moving on to a prediction and breakdown of this card. Um, I believe this is three rounds. I don't think it'd be five rounds. I think it'd be a good idea for Sean O'Malley's management management to make it a three round fight. He has a lot better chances in a three round fight than a five round fight, especially against Piotr Jan. Um, but yeah, let's get into it real quick. So in a three round fight, we all know uh, Piotr Jan starts out really slow. Um, kind of like likes to gauge out what the opponent's game plan is. Um, so I can see Sean O'Malley winning the first round and then a fight like this. Um, they're both pretty young. Um, Sean O'Malley does have a height difference and a very big reach advantage here and leg reach. So um, five inch reach advantage and he's a lot taller. He can extend his arms, use his jab a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to compare him to Corey Sanhagen, but I looked at that fight. Obviously, Corey Sanhagen does a lot of, uh, uh, has really good footwork, does a lot of um, stance switches things like that so they're not really comparable but Sean O'Malley can use a jab a lot in the first round to try and get um try and take that round I think it'll be up to the to the second round really I think Piotr Jan will probably win the third round I can see this being a complete split decision um yeah and I think people probably think I'm crazy for thinking that but I think this is a lot closer than people think especially in a three round fight um it, I think it'll be up to the second round Depending on whether Jan can get it going or not in the second round is up to him. Um, he can for sure win this fight. I have it like if we're to go percentages, I'm going to say Jan has 60% chance of winning and maybe O'Malley 40 or maybe 65, 35. Um, more like that. But I can definitely see uh, I can see O'Malley winning by split decision if it's like super close in the second round. See O'Malley using his leg kicks, uh, jabbing uh, at range. Um Maybe doing maybe doing some high kicks and things like that, and just trying to throw Piotr Jan off, trying to get those points in the first round. Second round will be super close, though. Um, I'm expecting a lot of people to be angry after this fight, just because it's Sean O'Malley versus Jan. Sean O'Malley wins; that'd be perfect for him. He could go and fight next for the title, which I'm sure the UFC would love. Um, but yeah, I, I see Yawning Jan winning this fight, but I think it's a lot closer than people think. I'm just kind of ga gauging the fact that uh Jan will probably win the second round um because he normally likes to turn like turn up a little bit in the second round especially in three round fights uh he doesn't have to worry about a five round fight where normally he would be ready by like the second like the end of the second or the, the start of the third in a five round fight um but yeah I can I don't know I think that's a lot closer than people think um what was I gonna say um but yeah I completely lost all train of thought. Um, yeah, so in the third, so first round O'Malley, I think last round will be on. Second round is going to be super close. Um, but but we'll definitely see in that um, how that fight goes. This is a really stacked UFC 280 card. I'm very excited to break it down. This is also a really early prediction. That's what I was going to get to. This is a really early prediction. I um, I'm not going to be too confident till we actually get there. Um, but this is just an early prediction. I'm going to say Jan wins by a decision, split decision. Not, I don't know about split decision. Maybe a split decision, maybe a unanimous decision, because I think he will have split rounds here, and the second round will be important, depending on who wins. It could be split or unanimous. But I can definitely see I definitely see Jan winning this if you want to play a safe bet, but if you want to be a betting man, and you're like, oh, well, the odds are pretty crazy. I haven't looked at the odds yet. Um, I might be able to search it up. But um, if you're a betting man and you're like, oh, 
uh, Mel Malley might have some good odds here. Um, the odds for O'Malley versus Jan. Um, I don't know if they have them out yet. They only got Pedro Munoz stuff here. They don't have any actual um any actual things here. Yeah, Best Buy odds didn't even come out with their odds yet. So um yeah, if you're a betting man, maybe you want to take a like a a flyer on O'Malley. Um, but we'll ha we'll have to know when we get closer. Um, yeah, this card's gonna be amazing. Can't wait. I'll see you guys next time. I was not expecting to make a video here today either. So yeah, see you guys next time.